Okay guys, we're out shooting at a thousand yards today. Uh, we brought a couple different rifles with us. I've got my uh, 6.5 Creedmoor and the 338 Lapua. This is the 6.5. It's a Savage 12 FV. Uh, it sits in a, in a Boyd's uh, Provarmator stock. And it's got a fixed 10 power SWFA scope on it. A 20 MOA rail. Uh, the loads I'm shooting today are 140 grain Hornaday ELDs in Starline Brass with H4350 right at 2700 feet per second. Your elevation looked good. Looked like you were off the plate by a quarter of a mil to the right. Hit. Right side of the plate. Uh, can't quite see where it was at. It's right on the crosshair on the right side. Here. I made a windage adjustment and held dead center there. Do you know where it hit? Right side of the plate again. Uh, you need to make an adjustment a quarter. Let me look, hold on. I would say at least a quarter of a mil to the left. Your elevation is looking perfect. Impact. That was the center of the plate just below the center line. Windage is good. Impact, dead center. Impact. Towards the left edge of the plate. That was a little bit higher than the last shot and more towards the center of the plate. Hit. Back towards to the left of the plate a little bit on the lower edge. Off the left edge of the plate. <laughs> Alright guys, this is my Savage 12 LRP chambered in 260 Remington. I've got a Vortex HST 6 to 24 by 50 scope on it. It's got the EGW uh, 20 minute of angle base on it. It's got the Matthew Fabrication cheek piece. And uh, I'm going to be shooting the two different loads that I recently did some load development for the Hornaday 140 and 147 grain. Okay, this is the 260. This is 140 grain ELD from Hornaday. Average speed of 2,700 feet per second. This is the load that I just got done doing a load development video with. And uh, this will be the first time shooting anything past 100 yards. This particular load has only been shot five times so far. I shot five over the chronograph at 100 yards and haven't shot it since. So 
we'll see how it performs at a thousand yards. That looked just off the right edge of the plate and it hit low. So come up half a mil and come left a quarter mil. Impact just above the orange line on the extreme right edge of the plate. So you could still come left a quarter mil. I call the elevation good. I'm sorry, we said which direction? Left? Correct. Quarter? Uh, not too bad for only the seventh shot for this load. Impact was a little bit high, just to the left of the or or the yeah the orange line. That was in the exact same spot. You could probably come down a tent and right a tent. Windage was good, you're still just a little bit high, but that was more towards the center of the plate. How high do you think I am? Maybe uh, almost a quarter mil high. That was that was just high and right of center. That was real real good. I only got three more after this shot, so I got four shots left of this charge. I'm just gonna go ahead and finish them out. Right on the orange line. That was probably uh, a quarter mil off to the right. You know, you were pretty far, <coughs> excuse me, pretty far to the right edge of the plate. Okay. Same spot. To the right? Yep. You could come a couple tenths left. I'm going to take, I got two shots left. I'm going to shoot for the little plate. Okay. Hit. Right in the four o'clock, five o'clock position. Oh. That one just dropped low. All right, well, not too bad for the first time shooting that load at a thousand. I'll go for the 10 inch plate. Okay. Just off the right edge, maybe a quarter or eighth of a mil. I would just favor the, the left side of the plate. I think you went underneath it. Your windage looked good. Okay. I'd either make a one or two tenths of adjustment in elevation or just hold a little high.
Yep. Almost dead center. Nice work. Thank you. You're starting to get a little bit of left to right wind down there. Yep. More towards the right of the plate, but still in the center. Good job. It looked to be dead center. I believe that was just in the left, lower left. Impact. All right, one more. All right. Yep. Nice. All right, guys, this is my 6.5 Creedmoor. It's a Savage 12 FV, and uh, it's got a SWFA fixed 16 power scope on it. It's got the laminated Boyd's Pro Varmint stock with the adjustable cheek piece. And I'm also going to be shooting the same 140 grain and 147 that I'm doing in my 260. Okay, this is the uh, 6.5 Creedmoor. I'm shooting the 140 grain ELD from Hornaday. Uh, same 140 grain as the 260 I just shot. This is an uh, average speed of 2,800 feet per second at the thousand yards here. Hit. That hit about a quarter mil to the right. <clears throat> this is loaded in Peterson brass with 41.3 grains of reloader 16. <clears throat> Running CCI Magnum small rifle primers. If I saw that correctly, that looked to be right about the same, but uh, about a, maybe a quarter mil to the right. Quarter mil to the right. Elevation was perfect. Elevation was good. You were eighth of a mil or so to the left. All right. We'll call that good for now. And this is my 338 Lapua. It's a Savage 112 target model. It's a single shot rifle. Uh, it has also an EGW 20 MOA base, burst rings, a Vortex Viper PST 6 to 24 by 50 scope. We're shooting the 285 grain ELDs out of Lapua Brass and Bratumbo Powder right at 2,700 feet per second. Last time I was out here shooting this thing was the last time I shot the rifle, so I'm going to see if the, if the scope's still on or if we have to make some adjustments.
Were you shooting at the large target? Yes. You are about one and a quarter mils off to the right. One and a quarter? One and a quarter off to the right. Last time we were shooting there was a heavy wind. And your elevation looked a little high. I would come down maybe like a quarter to a half a mil. Elevation looked good. You were just towards the left edge of the plate, but it was good. Hit. Elevation looked good. That was, I think, towards the uh, right edge of the plate. I'll see if I can hit the small one. Okay. What side of the plate was that on? I'm sorry? The last one, how was the windage? Uh, you were towards the right edge of the plate, like halfway in between the crosshair and the edge of the plate. <laughs> oh, that's a hit. <laughs> towards the right edge of the plate, elevation looked good. I gotta let this cool off. I'll end on a, a happy note. Okay, this is the uh, 147 grain ELD. This is the round that I just got done doing the load development uh, in one of my last videos. It is uh, loaded with H4831. This is 43.9 grains. It's in Starline Brass. It's got CCI primers and uh, an average speed of 2,626 feet per second. Here. Right on the orange line on the right edge of the plate. You got a pretty stiff wind down there. I don't know if you can see the flags. Yeah, I can see it. Yep. Still, that was off the right edge of the plate. So you might make, you know, three or four tenths adjustment left. Yeah. favoring the right edge of the plate, but that was a good hit. That was off the right edge of the plate again. Why don't you give me two more two more tenths to the left? Hit. Here. Yeah, those are looking nice right right in the center. I don't think I'm gonna let that cool down. <laughs> Ain't that a mother...
I'm gonna go for one of those beer cans. All right. That same one I was shooting at. Okay. Just below it, pulled just a tick higher. Windage was perfect. You are less than a can's width of distance below it. Just over the top. Right where the first shot was, just below it. One cans with the distance below. Windage was perfect. Okay. Oh! Did they if, just knock it over? If you didn't hit it, you must have scared it real bad. <laughs> I gotta let the rifle cool off.